Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at the 0 to 60 experience on Dropbox. That means we will look at the getting started experience ranging from downloading a sample project to configuring it and finally running it to hopefully provide us some insight into how the API works for in Dropbox. Okay, so let's open our favorite search engine and type in Dropbox API. We get to the Dropbox developers page. We see a list of different APIs on the left. Uh, briefly click through them. We're not going to go through this now, but just briefly, each API has a different use case. So for example, the data store API is for you to store and sync more than just files. If, for example, you have a game app and uh, you have a character with a safe state, you can use some structured tables within Dropbox to save that character state and you can retrieve it later on a different uh, different instance or a different device. So let's go into the core API, which is what we want to use today. Let's install the Android SDK, click on it to download it. And while it's downloading, you can kind of read through it. And we realize that we're getting DB Roulette, a simple Android app that handles authentication to Dropbox for us and also loads a random photo from Dropbox for us. This seems like a pretty good use case on Dropbox, um, authenticating with Dropbox, uploading a file and then loading it back into your device. So let's check it out. Extract the zip file and it lives in my downloads folder in this link, Dropbox Android SDK 1.6.12. Let me open Eclipse and let's import that SDK that we just downloaded. All right, so import an Android project. Click on this and click finish. Straight away, you see that the project DB Roulette has been downloaded and imported into the Eclipse. Let me open this. All right, it's really awesome because there's no errors that I see right now in Eclipse. Unlike some of the other samples and SDKs I've downloaded, you'll be surprised, but Many Android samples, when you try to install them in Eclipse, they come with lots of errors and lots of things to configure. So I'm really surprised that Dropbox doesn't have that right away. Let's run it immediately. Right click, run as Android application. It's going to run it for me in the emulator. So let's, oh, it says that you must apply for an app key and app secret on Dropbox. All right, let's, let's see how that works. Go back to Chrome, um, the app console seems like a place for me to register my app so let me sign in I'm going to use my Dropbox account go right into it and I want to create a new app I want to use the Dropbox API the core API specifically so this is the right one for me the Dropbox API app what type of data mm, I want to store files Oh wow, this form is really neat. So as you click on each option, a corresponding second option appears below that. So depending on what you answer, you get a different kind of experience. And this is neat because you don't have to, you know, go through several checkboxes and several different categories on a form before you you actually get to what you want. All right, so I'm gonna call it uh, DB Roulette. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, create app. Okay, and here I get my app key and my app secret. I'm going to copy that and paste that into Eclipse. As the error message told me to. Um, let's see. Oh, it's over here. So app key goes in here, and the app secret goes in here. All right, save this, and let's run it again. Run as Android application. Oh, it seems that I haven't configured my manifest properly. So let me go to my manifest again. Mm, read through it. Ah, it says here that I have to change this to be my app key. Okay, let me go back to Chrome, copy the app key, paste it back into my manifest, save it. Let's run it now. So run as Android application. Oh, it seems that right now it has run successfully, so that's awesome. Um, 
So, when you first enter this app, you get choice to link with Dropbox. If you click on it, it will uh, prompt you to sign in with your account. And in this case, I've already signed in. So you just have to allow access to your folder in Dropbox. Click allow and that's, that's it. Uh, after looking at the permissions screen, you're done. You're in the app. And you can take a new photo. So obviously this is an emulator, so it doesn't show my actual camera, but this is just something that um, the emulator does for you to take a photo. Let's take a photo. Okay, this sounds good to me. Image successfully uploaded. Click on this roulette button to download the image that I just uploaded. Awesome. Cool, so it seems to work. Uh, and that's it. That's a very simple starter app that Dropbox has provided. And hopefully by watching this really quick video, you have seen how easy it is to set up an app on Dropbox to register it and to configure my project that I downloaded from Dropbox, the example project, using the app I registered on Dropbox and running it. And then, you know, being able to understand the API and, and the use case behind that and just being able to copy that right into my own app when I'm developing it with Eclipse. So the process is super simple, it's super easy again, and it you know, takes less than 10 minutes. So I'm really impressed by how easy it is to get started with Dropbox. Awesome, thank you for watching.